on young i was going Joe and matt here hope you guys are happy hope you guys are healthy hope you guys are ready for another exciting workout video now i've showed you videos on different roundhouse kicks because i know you love roundhouse kicks now i'm going to show you different side kicks so we're going to start out with the basics we're going to get into advanced side kicks that i know that you could use in the sparring really mix it up you may have seen some of these other videos i got brand new Different psychics I haven't shown you yet, so I'm excited to show you. I know it's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to get really good at sparring in this video. But first, as always, we're going to warm up, just as usual. So we're just going to start with some nice jumping jacks. Nothing crazy, just get on into it, just to get the blood flowing. That's always the important part of a warm up. You just want to get the blood flowing, and you want to get your muscles warmed up. It's the two objectives of a warm up. Well, number three is also have fun. <laughs> you don't want like a really boring warm up. <laughs> there we go. A couple more of these jumping jacks again. It doesn't really matter too much with these these moves. Nice and easy. Ready? And let's stop that. Let's do something a little fun. We're gonna do sumo squats. So we're here. You're gonna get into a really wide squat position, and then you're gonna do a squat. Lift your leg, lift your leg, squat. So you're doing kind of a sumo stretch and also squatting. And you also get to pretend you're a sumo wrestler, which is really fun. We're just gonna do 10 of these, so let's get that going. So squat, lift, lift, that's one. Squat, lift, two, squat, three. Make sure your back stays straight. Four, five, six, Halfway, more halfway. Seven. Oh, Kirsten, I forgot his math. <laughs> Eight. Nine. And ten. Check it out. Get a little more flexible, that's good. Let's do some line jumps nice and quick first. I gotta fix my belt. <laughs> We're gonna do some line jumps. It can be imaginary line, real, <clears throat> real line, I don't really care. I should start jumping. I'm gonna go side to side first. There, you guys prefer. Get the motion and then start speeding it up. So bouncing side to side as quick as you can. There we go. Let's set a couple more seconds of this and then we'll go forward and backwards. All right, and good. Let's do forward and backwards now. Again, nothing crazy. We're just here, we're just warming up. Having some fun. That's it. Really try and start going as fast as you can. Once you get the motion you're good, really push yourself. That should be your mentality on every workout that we do. So once you do it a couple of times slow and you feel comfortable with it, go 100%. Really try and push yourself and get good at it. And we're good. Ready? Let's go to the ground. Let's do a couple more warm ups down there. So we're just gonna do some simple mountain climbers, nice and easy. We know how to do them. Push up position, one knee up, and just switch. We'll do 20 switches just to have a number goal set. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo, super good job, shake it out. And we'll do one more thing before we get to our stretches, and then we get to our kicks, that'll be super fun. But let's just do some shoulder taps, get a quick shoulder workout in, because we're mostly going to be using legs today. So we can't forget our arms too. So we're here, just tap like that. We're going to do 30 shoulder taps as fast as you can. Try and beat me. If you can beat me, you're like Sonic the Hedgehog or something, I don't know. <laughs> like Flash the Superhero. There we go. Ready? 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, there we go. Woo. Shake it out. Now, if you beat me, make sure you actually beat me. You didn't do 30 and you really did like 17. <laughs> That's always something I used to do as a kid. So I know that trick. But we're gonna get into our stretches now. We're gonna start with a split stretch, nice and easy. Really good stretch for our side kicks. If you wanna stretch out the muscles on the side of your legs and also your hip muscles here. So this is the stretch that covers most of that. That's really good. 
as you know, you can get your elbows on the ground if you want, just like this. And I stay up so I can talk to you guys. Because nothing's better while you're stretching than uh, my annoying voice. <laughs> there we go. Just a couple more seconds of this. And then we'll go on to the next stretch. Very good. Ready to bring those legs in. Nice and slow. No tweaking thing. All right, we're gonna do the figure four. It's called the figure four because you look like number four when you're setting it up. So put your leg over the other leg. Looks like the number four. Now I'm gonna bend this bottom knee up and try and push my chest into this top leg so as they're as close as possible. If it's too easy for you, as you can see I'm doing, I pick my body up so I can push my body further into my leg. So that's like level two. And of course, focus on your breathing. Very good. Ready to switch it out. This is a great stretch for the back of our hips. It's really important to stretch while doing side kicks. So now we're here, set up the opposite leg, bend it up. If you need more challenge, pick yourself up with your hands and push yourself into your leg. Go. Catch your breath before we get into the kicks. <clears throat> That's it. And ease on out of this stretch. Let's do the catcher stretch. Oh, no hip flexor. Not hip flexor today. We're gonna do catcher stretch. So we're here. Elbows into our knees. And just knee into our hands, which pushes our legs into our elbows, which stretches. It's like the Rube Goldberg machine of stretching. <laughs> it's like three steps to accomplish one thing. There we go. If you want to get a little deeper, just push into your hands a little harder. There we go, but know your limits, obviously, with all the stretches and all the techniques that we do today. And ease on out of this. We got a couple more stretches to do before we get into those kicks. We're going to do the prayer stretch or the prayer stance. So that looks like this. We're ready to clap your hands together. So it kind of looks like, depending on what religion you do, it kind of looks like you're praying. But now we are going to spread our feet. So we're going to spread our feet. Out like this and then forward out like this forward and then if you're super flexible we'll do one more just like that and now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bend your knees down and you're just gonna sit like this you can't rest your arms on your legs that's why we have our hands here really you could cross your hands like this if you want to that's totally fine or you could like I don't know you could fix your hair whatever it is I was just taught to do it like this so I just naturally have my hands like this and uh, you're just gonna sit here like this <laughs> Very uncomfortable, but it's a good stretch. It really stretches out most of our leg muscles, that's good. It's good to focus on your breathing, because you're standing up straight, minus your legs. And slowly stand on up, super good. We got one more stretch to do, side kick stretch, totally makes sense to do during a side kick video. So we're here, our leg is just gonna shoot up and down, just going sideways like that, so it's super good. Try and get it at least waist height, but push it as high as you can get it. If you can get shoulder, you can get it, get shoulder at it. So we're just gonna do five each side. Nice and easy, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. You see how I'm in a guard stance? That's good practice for when you're actually kicking. Also help your balance so you don't fall over. That would be bad, here we go. Other side, five, here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Woo, shake it out. All right, we should be hot and ready to go for these kicks. So we're gonna divide it into two parts like I do with most of my videos. Just gonna start with the basics of side kick. So that's gonna be basic side kicks that we all know and love, nice and easy ones, just to get the fundamentals down, get used to throwing our front kicks again. And then we're gonna get into advanced Psychic. So those are going to be the crazier ones that you may or may not have seen before that I'm definitely going to show you if you use them in sparring or using the self-defense situations. Definitely good techniques to practice, but let's get into our basics over here. We're just going to do the classic long side kick first. So our back leg is going to come up, chamber, kick on through, come right back, nice and easy. We all know it, we all love it. Let's just do five each side. So make sure our hands are up, kick on through. One. So why are you doing the long side, instant side, 
I want you to focus on the real fundamentals of side kick. Make sure you're hitting with your heel. Make sure your toes are either down or sideways, just like that. You know, the basics that make your side kicks a little bit stronger. So when we do the advanced ones, we got super strong side kicks. Here we go. Ready, two. Ready, three. You can kick any height. Four. I just like to kick kind of high on these. And five. Here we go. Let's switch. Other leg coming through. Same thing, work on the basics, nice and easy. Ready, one. Two, sit, three, ready, four, and five. Super good, shake it out. Catch your breath. All right, that was a long side kick. On to the next side kick, super basic, super easy. It's the side kick, so we're here. We're gonna use our front foot. Same thing as before, I gotta pick it up and just kick right out nice and easy. Heels extending, toes are pointing down, we're going sideways. As long as you get those important parts, it should be good. Now make sure when you chamber, you chamber up and kick out. You don't want to chamber like a roundhouse, or like a front kick, chamber like a side kick. We all know how to do that. If you don't, knee comes up just like this, aim on my back pocket, and kick out just like that. Super good. All right, five inside the inside the side kick. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, last one, and five, switch. Make sure we're hitting with that heel, here we go. Hands up, five more. One, two, three, four, and five, super good. Shake it out, okay. We're gonna do cross behind side kick now. So we're here, gonna get into a good fighting position. Now when we do cross behind side kick, as the name entails, first gotta come behind, and I cross. So up here, foot come behind, and I kick. Nice and easy, we're gonna do five each side. So pick whatever side you wanna do first. I'm gonna kick with my left foot first just to get it out of the way. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you like. Here we go, ready? One, make sure you cross back so you don't take up too much room. Two, this is a great kick if our target is far away. Three. There we go. Super good. Four. And last one. Five. So now we're going to use the other foot. If you're looking for the strongest side kick of all, this is probably it. Because we generate a lot of power as we cross our feet. Ready? One. And back. Ready? Two. And back. You can kick any height for this, but usually in sparring, you're gonna kick around the waist for this. That's where the kick's gonna be the strongest. Ready. Three, and back, ready, four, and back, last one, five, and back. Super good, shake it out. We got two more basic ones. We're gonna do turn around side kick next. Nice and easy. So we're here, get in a good guard position. You guys all know this, but if you don't, if you're a lower belt, I'm gonna show you really quick. So our head turns behind our back, leg comes up, and turn around side kick. So you turn towards your back, back leg does the kicking. Here we go. We're gonna do five each side just like before. Here we go. One, and back. Make sure we're kicking straight out in front of us. You don't wanna kick that way. You don't wanna kick that way. You wanna kick the target in front of you. Two, Three, four, and five. Now we're using the opposite leg. So here, left leg, I'm gonna look backwards over my shoulder. Back leg does the kicking, and then come back. Here we go. Five turn on side kicks, nice and easy. Ready, one, and back. Two, back. If you're just learning, Turn on side kicks and you're a beginner at them or you're still trying to figure them out. You can do it a little slow. You can look, then kick, then come back if that helps you. But if you're much more comfortable with it, try and spin right through. Three, and back, four, and back. Last one, five. Shake it out. We got one more basic one to go. Slide side kick, nice and easy. 
pretty much the same as Insta Psychic, but I'm sliding with my bottom foot now. So I'm here with my guarding stance. Let's say I'm facing this way, my target's too far. I'm gonna pick my foot up, slide as I kick just like that. This one here, slide and kick, carve a little extra distance, a little sneaky kick. They might not know it's coming. It's super good. We're gonna do five each side, nice and easy. Here we go. Start with your left foot if you want to copy me. One, back, two, back, three, and back, four, and back. So you want to try and cover at least two feet of distance. That would be super good if you cover that. If you cover even more distance when you slide, even better. And five. Here we go. Switch feet. Here we go. We're using our front foot, sliding on the back. Just five. One, and back, two, and back, three, and back, four, and back, last one, five, and back. Shake it out. Catch your breath before we get into our advanced side kicks. Just deep breath in, and out. All right, so those basic side kicks, you can definitely use in sparring. The basic techniques, basic, always work in sparring, as long as you throw them at the correct time, or correct accuracy, just like all techniques. But these are advanced sidekicks here. I kind of think of them, or I practice them in the mindset of sparring. So if you definitely want to use them in sparring, it should definitely work as long as you throw them correctly. We're gonna start with an easier advanced sidekick. It's the pump slide sidekick. We just did a slide side, so that's why we're gonna work on this now. So we're here, pump slide side is I pump my front foot as if I'm gonna do an instant side kick or really any instant technique, but I prefer instant side kick through here. Instant side kick, fake, which scares them, it freezes them a little bit. One, and then I slide or skip in and get a quick side kick off. So it's super quick, super sneaky, a little confusing, that's what we like. We're gonna do five each side, nice and easy. Here we go, so pump, either skip in or slide in. Skipping and sliding are two different things. Sliding, my foot's already in the air when I slide. Skipping is when I beat my feet together just like that. You can do whatever for this technique. I prefer a skip, a little faster for me. Whatever your preference is. Here we go. Pump. One. Right, pump. Two. Make sure that pump is fast. Maybe move your hands a little bit to make it a little sneakier. Three. Four. And five, push those feet out. Over here, pump, quick side kick, get on in there. Here we go, nice and easy. One, back, two, and back, three, and back, four, that's one, and back. So make sure that pump is real sneaky, real confusing. Next one we're gonna do, a little difficult, I want you to try it though. Jump, turn around, side kick. So we're here, it's the same as a turn around side, but we're gonna jump as we do it. So I'm here, and jump right through. One more time, a little slower. So I'm here, look over my shoulder, jump and kick. We're only gonna do three of those each side, because they are gonna make you dizzy. <laughs> So we're gonna do three. I'm gonna do my right leg first. You can do whichever you want. Here we go. That's one. That's good. If it's a little hard for you to get in one jump, you can do two. So you can do one, two like that. Although one jump is faster. Ready, two. And back. And three. I'm gonna use the other foot now. So we're here. Add the back leg, someone that's kicking. Look and jump. One, here we go, left is gonna be a little harder for you, it's a little hard for me too. Three, two, there we go. Last one, and three. That's a good technique if you really wanna scare them with a quick jump. Might throw them off, confuse them a little bit. Always want your partner confused. Next thing we're gonna do is machine gun sidekick. Now this is a good technique for sparring, but I would not use it in self-defense. Let me explain, so I'm here, it looks like this. I pick my foot up and I do a side kick, but I keep my foot in the air. So 
but it's sidekick. I can do sidekick, sidekick, sidekick. I hold my foot in the air and bounce, and I throw as many sidekicks as I want. But if you're in a self defense situation, I wouldn't want you standing on only one foot, because what happens if they dodge the sidekick? And now you're easier to sweep than a broom. <laughs> so I would only use this in sparring. I wouldn't use it in self-defense, but it's a really good sparring technique. Keeps people off you. They can't close in because you're constantly kicking. Super good technique for sparring. So we're gonna pick our foot up and I want you to do eight side kicks. So I want you to pick it up and do eight side kicks any rate you want. You can be confusing. One, two, three, four, just like that. Do eight each side. You can either copy my pattern or do your own pattern. I'm gonna start on my right foot. Here we go. So ready, one. Ready, two, three. Hold it. Ready, four. Ready, five. Six, seven, eight. And switch feet. Here we go. So pick that left foot up. Try and hold your balance. If you fall, that's totally fine. Just pick your foot back up. Get back at it. Here we go. One. Ready, two, three. Ready, four, five. Ready, six, seven, eight. Super good. Woo. Again, that's a good sparring technique. I wouldn't use that in self-defense though, because you don't want to get sweat. Let's catch our breath. Go we're going to the next technique. All right, next one is the stepping in turn on side kick. That looks like this. So I'm in my guard stance. Let's say they're far away. What I want to do, if my back leg is going to step in, if I step forward, keep my guard up, that'll scare him a little bit. And then as I step in, so one, a little like turn around side kick. So if I want to do turn on side kick and they're too far, or they've gotten used to my turn on side kick, it's a good way to get it off. It covers distance and it confuses your partner so they don't know that you're going to throw a turn on side kick. So we're going to practice this three times. If you get dizzy, if you do more, <laughs> you tap that back leg, step in, and kick just like that. Here we go. I'm kicking my left foot first. You guys do what you want. And one, and back. So you practice slow the first time, get fast the second. Okay, two, and back. So stepping fast and confusing. Last one, three, and back. Now use the other foot. So I have my right foot in front now. Right foot's gonna kick. Come here, step with the back leg, and kick on through. Here we go. Okay, so the first time, one, and back. Now fast these two. Here we go. Two, and back. Ready, and three. And back, super good. Shake it out. We got a couple more kicks to do. Two more to be exact. But the next one we're gonna do though, is reverse roundhouse is in side kick. So I'm here. This is a nice confusing one because you're hitting the target from a lot of angles. So I can start without the front or back foot. I'm teaching you guys back foot though, so we're gonna start with the back foot. That back foot's gonna come around. Reverse roundhouse. So I swing on through. Reverse, I can go head or shoulder, whatever hand I like. But then I'm not gonna put my foot down. I'm gonna re-chamber, do this in side kick. So it looks like this. I kick. Reach in, instant side kick. You want to get it off fast. So when you really do it, it's bop, bop. I'm hitting them on the side, so the hands come up here. If they block with both hands, there's no way they're blocking the instant side that's coming here. And even if they block with one, they might not react fast to block a second kick. So it's nice, confusing, gets them a lot of angles. That's what you want in a sparring technique. Here we go, we're gonna practice five each side. I'm starting with my right foot, you can start whichever you like. Here we go. One. Nice and fast. Here we go. Two. Just like that. Three. There we go. Ready, four. Last one. Five. That's it, switch feet. Over here. Again, reverse right now. So now we're gonna go the opposite direction. So I'm coming in here, kicking on this side. So one, reach chamber. It's inside kick just like that. Here we go. Five each side. One. I'm bring it back. Two. Come on through. Okay, three. Let's do two more. Four. And the last one, number five. 
it. Super good, shake it out. Deep breath in, and out, one more, and out. Now right, we got one more technique to do, is to step back, turn around psychic. So this is a great technique for those who like defensively sparring, like playing a lot of defense, like getting into your opponent's head, perfect technique for you. Or if your opponent is charging you a lot, they're going at you, running at you, perfect technique to throw them off guard. So we're here, I have to step back. So my front foot steps back as they're running in at me. So they're gonna keep running, keep running. So I step back, but as I step back, I go right back in with the Toronto side kick. They're already running in, or they're already sliding with kicks. It's way too late to block. So it's usually a real sneaky point that you can score. A real sneaky kick can get in. Good for sparring, good for self-defense. Definitely recommend it. Here we go, so we're only gonna do a three inside because you will get dizzy. So I'm starting with my left foot in front. If you wanna do the same as me, copy that. Here we go. So step back, turn on side kick. Here we go, and you have to start, same as you started before. Ready, one, sa, sa. Ready, chamber. Ready, two, step back and kick. Ready, last one. Ready, three, step back and kick. Super good. Now the opposite foot. Now I would not kick high on this technique because there is a lot of stepping and a lot of spinning. If you try and kick too high, you're gonna lose your balance. So I recommend kicking around chest to waist height. That's where most of your power is gonna be and most of your balance is gonna be. Here we go. Right foot's in front. So you gotta step back. Come right back in with the trunk side. Here we go. One. There we go. Ready, two. That's it. And three. Super good. Woo. Shake it out. That's all our side kicks for today. Super good job. We're gonna cool it off and that'll be done for today. So I just shake out our arms. It's always my first thing I like to do when I cool down. And go backwards. Again, we want to try all those techniques out when we get back to sparring. They're real sneaky, real fun. See if you can come up with your own versions of them. Or see if you can master these versions. I'm always trying to improve them too. You always want to be trying to improve your sparring arsenal. You want to see if any of these might be your go-to move. There we go. Here, shake out those legs. I did a lot of kicking today. Ready, let's do some trunk twists. Hips did a lot of kicking as well. And that'll be it for today. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Hope you guys learned a lot of new techniques. They're real fun. Hope you guys give them a try next time you spar. But that'll be it for today. On Young. See you guys next time. Bye bye.